have very little problem in this country at this moment, five. When you have 15 people, and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. And I just see you right now, it's about 149 cases. We pretty much shut it down, coming in from China. It will go away, just stay calm. I am officially declaring a national emergency. We have a problem that a month ago nobody ever thought about. A lot of people think that goes away in April, but they think uh, August could be July, could be longer than that. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. <laughs> in weeks. Now we're working very strongly with China on the coronavirus. That's uh, a new thing that a lot of people are talking about. Hopefully it won't be uh, as bad as some people think it could be. But we're, we're working very closely with them and with a lot of other people in a lot of other countries. And we think we have it very well under control. Uh, we have very little problem in this country at this moment. Five. How concerned are you? Well, we pretty much shut it down coming in from China. Uh, we have a tremendous relationship with China, which is a very positive thing. Getting along with China, getting along with Russia, getting the, along with Have you offered countries. the Chinese president help with the coronavirus? Oh, yeah. Well, no, we've, we're offering him tremendous help. We have the best in the world for that. We've done a tremendous job in many other instances also on that, even recently. Uh, no, no, we've offered China help. But we can't have thousands of people coming in who may have this problem, the coronavirus. So we're going to see what happens, but we did shut it down, yes. Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat, as the heat comes in. Uh, typically, that will go away in April. We're in great shape, though. We're, we have 12 cases, 11 cases. And 61 percent of the voters approve of Trump's handling of the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, we did a very early move on that. We did a — I was criticized by a lot of people at the beginning because we were the first — we'd never done it before. We closed our borders to certain areas. It's uh, never happened before. I got to ask you about something that's uh, on a lot of people's mind, and that is the coronavirus. How confident are you that China is being 100 percent honest with us when it comes to this scary virus? Well, I'm confident that they're trying very hard. I mean, I know President Xi. I get along with him very well. We just made a great trade deal, which is going to be a lot of business for Arizona and every other place. But. Uh, they are trying very, very hard. And I think the numbers are going to get progressively better as we go along. They're working it. They, they built a hospital in seven days, and now they're building another one. I think it's going to work out fine. I think when we get into April and the warmer weather, that has a very negative effect on, on that and that type of a virus. So let's see what happens, but I think it's going to work out fine. We very much closed our doors in certain areas and about certain areas, through certain areas, and we'll see what happens. But we have the greatest doctors in the world. We have it very much under control. We accepted a few people, a small number of people. Uh, they're very well confined, and they should be getting better fairly soon. Very interestingly, uh, we've had no deaths. The flu in our country kills from 25,000 people to 69,000 people a year. That was shocking to me. And uh, so far, if you look at what we have with the 15 people, and they're recovering. One is, uh, one is uh, pretty sick, but uh, hopefully will recover. And again, when you have 15 people, and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero, uh, that's a pretty good job we've done. We have a situation with the virus. We've done a great job, mm -hmm. and the press won't give us credit for it. Mm -hmm. We have, in a world that has some big problems, you look at China and you look at uh, industry between the two countries. And I did something that had never been done before, because it had never been done before. Yeah. I closed our borders to certain areas of the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. I won't be specific, because it's not nice to be, you know, specific, but you understand where. Mm -hmm. And I closed the borders to certain areas of the world very early. We'd never closed the border before. We've never done that before. Right, right. And flights coming in mm -hmm. and people coming in yeah. because they had a very early problem. And I closed them. I took a lot of heat from the Democrats. Mm -hmm. They said, what's she doing? Because anything I do, they'll do the opposite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some countries are doing well. Some countries are not doing well. You can see that for yourself. And a lot of things are happening. We're very well organized. We have great talent, great doctors, great, great everyone. Uh, this tremendous spirit. Now the Democrats are politicizing the Coronavirus, you know that, right? Coronavirus. 
They are politicizing it. We will do everything in our power to keep the infection and those carrying the infection from entering our country. We have no choice. Whether it's the virus that we're talking about or many other public health threats, the Democrat policy of open borders is a direct threat to the health and well-being of all Americans. Now, you see it with the coronavirus. You see it. It's on Monday, I'll be meeting with the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, actually. They'll be coming to the White House, and we're talking about a vaccine and developing very quickly, and they've already started working on it, developing very rapidly a vaccine for the virus, to combat the virus. And we're having very good initial uh, feedback. And I'd like to just ask and uh, caution that the media, we would respectfully ask the media and politicians and everybody else involved not do anything to incite a panic, because there's no reason to panic at all. Uh, this is something that is being handled professionally. Mm -hmm. Our country is doing very well. Our professionals are doing really an incredible job. We're also working with other countries to help them. Are you also considering a national emergency declaration that would allow states and local governments to cap the money? I don't think you'll need that because I really think we're in you know, extremely good shape. Uh, we're prepared for anything, and we could always do that at a later date if we need it, but I don't think we need that at this stage. You know, interestingly, we were discussing, and a question I get asked a lot by people is, uh, on average, you lose from 26,000 to 70,000 or so, and even in some cases more from the flu. We, lose, we have deaths of that per year uh, worldwide. It's hundreds of thousands of deaths from the common flu. And they ask, you know, what's the difference and how does this uh, differ? And I guess there are things that are similar and things that are different. Every one of them is different. You look at a percentage, we have a very, very small percentage. And a big percentage of what we have is when we brought in the 40 or so people from the ship. We brought them in, we immediately quarantined them, but you're adding that to the numbers that we had, which were very small. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. <laughs> in weeks. Mr. President, I miss it. Uh, we have right. a report today, the global death rate at 3.4 percent, and a report that the Olympics could be delayed. Your reaction to that? Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, this is just my hunch. And uh, But based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people that do this, because a lot of people will have this, and it's very mild. Uh, Mr. President, at the outset of the coronavirus, your administration's response seemed to some as being confusing or minimizing. What plans are being considered on a federal level for the possibility of a long-term disruption from the novel coronavirus? Well, actually, we're giving, I think, really given tremendous marks. Uh, you look at Gallup poll, you look at other polls for the way we've handled it. And uh, one of the things I did is I closed down the borders to China and to other areas that are very badly affected and really having a lot of troubles. I mean, p uh, countries and areas of countries that have had a lot of problem. And I closed them down very early against the advice of almost everybody, and we've been given rave reviews. And that's why we have uh, only, right now, 11, it's a lot of people, but it's still 11 people versus tremendous numbers of thousands of people that have died all over the world. We have 11. Uh, we have 149 cases as of this moment. This morning was 129. Just... Anybody right now and yesterday, anybody that needs a test gets a test. We, they're there. They have the tests. And the tests are beautiful. Anybody that needs a test gets a test. If there's a doctor that wants to test, if there's somebody coming off a ship, like the big monster ship that's out there right now, which, you know, again, that's a big decision. Do I want to bring all those people on? People would like me to do that. I don't like the idea of doing it. But anybody that needs a test can have a test. Uh, this was something that we were thrown into, and we're going to handle it, and we have been handling it very well. The big decision was early when we shut down our borders. We're the first ones ever to do that. We've never done that in our country before. We would have a situation that would be uh, um, a lot more dire. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. We want to protect our shipping industry, our cruise uh, industry, cruise ships. Uh, we want to protect our airline industry. Very important. Uh, but everybody has to be vigilant and has to be careful. But be calm. It's really working out. The numbers from a week ago were great. And from two days ago were great. But now we're hitting a patch. And we're going to have to do something with respect to uh, 
uh, getting this, getting rid of this virus as quickly as possible. After consulting with our top government health professionals, I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. Uh, we want to lose as few people as possible. So important. And what is the, f the number as of this morning? Is it 32? You could tell me. Is it 32 deaths? See, for around that. I mean, think of it. The United States, because of what I did and what the administration did with China, we have 32 deaths at this point. Other countries that are smaller countries have many, many deaths. 32 is a lot. 32 is too many. But when you look at the kind of uh, numbers that you're seeing coming out of other com countries, it's pretty amazing when you think of it. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. Doctors have but said I you might tell have you, it even if you don't have symptoms. Well, Are you being selfish by not getting tested and potentially Well, I didn't say I wasn't going to be tested. Are you going to be? Uh, most likely, yeah. Most when likely. Do you think not for that happen? reason, but because I think I will do it anyway. Uh, will you let us fairly know the soon? Results? We're working on that. We're working out a schedule. I also took the test you last night. Yeah. yeah. And I decided I should, based on the press conference yesterday, people were asking that I take the test. The result, I don't know whatever it takes, a day or two days, whatever. Can answer. Uh, because it almost becomes a habit, and you get out of that habit. And frankly, I was a non-handshaker for the most part. I never believed that shaking hands, once you become a politician, and I notice it, too. Uh, political people walk up to me, they want to shake my hand. I said, well, uh, you know, message, sir. just wait a minute, wait a minute, just take it nice and easy, okay? Just relax. Uh, people come up to me, they shake hands, they put their hand out. It's sort of a natural reflex, and we're all getting out of it. All of us have that problem. You don't have to buy so much, take it easy, just relax. People are going in and they're buying more. They, I remember, uh, I guess during the conversation, Doug of Walmart said that they're buying more than they buy at Christmas. Relax, we're doing great. It all will pass. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the response to this crisis? I'd rate it a 10. I think we've done a great job. And it started with the fact that we kept a very highly infected country, despite all of the, even the professionals, uh, saying, no, it's too early to do that. We were very, very early with respect to China. And we would have a whole different situation in this country if we didn't do that. I would rate it a, a very, very, I would rate ourselves and, and the professionals. I think the professionals have done a fantastic job. It seems to me that if we do a really good job, uh, we'll not only hold the death down to a, a level that is uh, much lower than the other way, had we not done a good job. Uh, but people are talking about July, August, something like that. So it could be right in that period of time where it, I say wash, it washes through. Other people don't like that term but where it washes through. So, so is this the new normal until the height of the summer? Uh, we'll see what happens, but they think uh, August, could be July, could be longer than that. I just say this, we have an invisible enemy. We have a problem that a month ago nobody ever thought about. Nobody in the, you know, I've read about it. I read about uh, many years ago, 1917, 1918, I've seen all of the different uh, the different problems similar to this that we've had. This is a bad one. This is a very bad one. This is bad in the sense that um, it's so contagious. It's just so contagious. Our guidance yesterday urges Americans to take action for 15 days to help stem the outbreak. So it's a 15-day period. I guess uh, now would say it's a 14-day period. It's 15 days from yesterday, and we're asking everyone to work at home if possible, postpone unnecessary travel and limit social gatherings to no more than 10 people. By making shared sacrifices and temporary changes, we can protect the health of our people, and we can protect our economy, because I think our economy will come back very rapidly. One day, we'll be standing possibly up here. We'll say, well, we won. And we're going to say that. Sure as you're sitting there,